live from the Coefficient Media Studios in Jackson, Michigan, we're going to bring you some hot news. <laughs> this is the Android Hub Show, episode number 65. This week we have some hot apps to review, some malicious apps have been pulled from the market, and some not so malicious ones. That's a downer, though. Ooh, interesting. Bummer. Welcome to the Android App Show. The future of the telephone business is bright and rich with promise for the millions of telephone users like yourselves, whose quick acceptance and ready use of each improvement in telephone service has helped make possible an endless chain of accomplishments. What will it be this time? Welcome to the show, everybody. How's it going, Dave? It's going great. It's screwing hot. It's going to be a short show. <laughs> you know, the hotter it gets, the shorter the show gets. That is right. It, it, nothing really focuses the mind. Right. Like unnecessary heat. It's like iron sharpening iron. Or something <laughs> so, like that. All right. It's enough like, with the small talk. Let's get going. Heat it's getting, steel sharpening steel. I think it's like it heat for. getting us hotter. All right. That's right. The diamond mm-hmm. cut. It hurts. Mm-hmm. It hurts. But you don't have to be hurt. Our first sponsor... Of the show. A new sponsor to the show. That's right. That's right. What lane? What lane? That's right. Yeah, two that different right. sponsors we this do. week, uh, but the first one we're rolling is in the, the new one. We're rolling in the cash, aren't we? <laughs> right. Yeah, right. We're no. still trying to pay the bills with yeah. this. We can't even afford coal, cooler lighting. We have to have hot <laughs> lights know. on in here. So uh, the new sponsor of the show is ADT. You may have heard their name before. Uh, they are the one of the big security companies out there and you know if you got a studio this nice all ramshackled together you need to protect it so you should trust ADT to protect your home uh protect your home is a certified reseller of ADT and we want you to call them at 18667783127 to sign up and uh, you get a lot of cool stuff with that don't you Lane yeah, that's right. Uh, you know, one of the things that you probably have in common with us is you probably have some Android gadgets laying around your house, uh, if not some other ones too. And uh, it's a good idea to put some some security stuff on there. So, and ADT is the number one monitoring service in the country. Uh, of course, the world famous ADT yard signs you can put up out there and let everybody <laughs> know that that's your awesome. house is protected. I mean, they say you know who really knows, but of course, as soon as they try to open that door and the alarm goes off, mm-hmm. they will know. They will definitely. Know. So, uh, what's that number, Dave? That number is one eight six six seven seven eight three one two seven, and um, you can save up to twenty percent on homeowners insurance when you sign up for this. It's so it's actually a pretty That's good deal. That's true. That is true. I and know that firsthand. I do have a security system. Yeah, it's so. just over one dollar a day, so it is a good deal. So that's right. But there is a, uh, we'll give you the uh, quick legalese here. There's a $99 installation charge, 36 month monitoring agreement at $35 to $99 per month. Call for terms and conditions and license numbers. That's right, Lane. Thank you very much. And so we have our first app review coming up. Yeah. It's a little Absolutely. app I like to call My First Trains set with a Z, like ponies. Dude, but- My First Trains. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay. That's right. Our friends at Verizon sent us this Motorola Droid X2, and it has the X2. Uh, dual core Tiger 2 processor in it. So I'm like, you know what? I got to review a Tiger 2 app. Totally. And that's what this is. My first trains with a Z. $5.34. That's right. They charge a little bit more for these Tiger 2 apps. Well, it's almost twice as much, isn't because it? Because they're awesome sauce. It's two. It's two. <laughs> Tiger 2. I think it's more than twice as much as two. Double your... That's that's my theory, though. I don't know. Double your app? So let's pull up the HDMI out. Of course, this uh, phone has Oops. HDMI out built into it. No special software needed. Special sauce. It's pretty awesome. Not Screen included. mirroring. No hacking or modding required. Special no. sauce not included. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's loading. Working. It's a complex app. It should say loading. Jeez, it's a dual core. Come on. Say loading. Okay. Well, my keys are lit up. App failure. Oh, you crap. You broke it. Crash. Wah, wah, oh. wah. I mean, well, Probably doesn't like the it could be mirror. partially my fault, though, because mm-hmm. I was playing it fault. earlier and I didn't kill it, mm. which I know. It should manage this stuff by itself, but what are you going to do, you know? Manage applications. Got to go through all this crazy crap because I don't have a task manager installed. What? 
So let's find uh, my first trains. Where are you at here? There it is. There it is. You found it. Four Kill it. Four stop. Kill it. Stop it. Stop that train. <laughs> Derail it. All right. Let's bring this up now. My Why did first. you have that on the desktop? Home screen, whatever. Because that's not how I roll, not Brad. prepared. This is to Wait, it made it sound. I heard a pop. There oh, it goes. There it is. There we go. My first trains. Look at that. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, with a Z. It's really beautiful. That's what the kids like these days. This app is, I don't know, I think it's a pretty good one for your kids. Or if you're a train geek like I am. I don't know about you, Dave, but I grew up building trains. Mm, I did not. Uh, ever since my grandpa brought, bought me my first train set. And I built a tunnel out of a Reese's peanut butter cup bulk box where you know a bunch nice. of the candy bar a bunch of the Reese's cups came in mm -hmm. it was a bulk box and so you you know cut a hole and the train went through there mm -hmm. you could see the light and everything good mm -hmm. times I had to hand me down 1970 uh, uh, Hot Wheels plastic track mm -hmm. with the little things and that spin the cars off real fast nice those things were awesome yeah the car launcher the old ones were good the old ones are crap I had some old Lionel's <laughs> So you can pick four different areas to play with your trains, uh, your oh. bedroom, the lounge, uh, the kitchen, or the garage. Hmm. Uh, so I'm going to go with the lounge. I haven't messed with that yet. Nice. Oh, you, you touch it and it kind of fusses up the, the couch. So then you can choose to drive or build. I'm going to go with drive right away. Yeah, totally. Show you some of this hot action. So this is not a lightweight application, I take it? No. Now Don't let the... Don't let the kitty graphics fool you. This is yeah. The, this kind of hides all the serious action mm -hmm. that you see after the loading screen. Loading, oh, so kind of Sims level graphics, I think. Yeah. So they pop up with some hints. Uh, you can just use one finger. Oh wait, here. okay. You get to pick what train you want to use too. What Ooh. do you think? Should yeah, we go right. with the classic? Yeah, classic. With the green one or the black one right there. Mm, I like the. I don't know. Middle right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that one. So, we got the sound effects going? I think so. Cool. I got this all the way up. So, I'll do the horn. That's yeah, right. You can do the horn, uh, turn the light on and off. A little too bright. And then you have the uh, up and down on the left. Controls your motion and stop. So, let's put it into action. And we're driving a train. And one finger... And the screen rotates it. Whoa. Yeah. That's some serious... This is like... And you get extra, like... This is a little bit laggy, but we're doing the screen mirroring at the same time. Right, totally. When I did it without the screen mirroring, I didn't receive... I didn't get any of this lag, so I don't, yeah. I don't want you to get the wrong impression. Ah, yeah, that's kind of cool. You can build a train in your living room. Yeah, you can zoom in. This is pinch. totally like Roller Coaster Sims pinch or Roller Coaster Builder. Yeah. And see, for each one of these little areas right here, it'll come up and tell you. See, the drinks on the table need more coasters. Stop here to pick up some and take them to the coffee table. Huh. What? Okay. Huh? So I'm going to come right up here. That's funny. I'm going to stop and then zoom in. You'll see the coasters should get loaded up. Oh, maybe i got to go forward a little bit more. Mm, I think you do. You can't yeah, load it on. Put them on top of the logs? Yeah. Where are you going to put Those them on top logs. of your... My battery's getting low. That's right. We I mean, need some juice. Juice it. The juice is loose. Oh, wait, when you get done. What the heck? All aboard! Yeah, I'm supposed to just be able to stop. Maybe I'm supposed to get the coasters and bring them back here. Did I not read it right? I don't think you read it right. Those look like cups. So, yeah, you probably need some coasters. Yeah. All right, let's go on then. Keep, keep rolling. On to the next one. We're leaving the let's, station. Let's blow the horn. Oh, here's another one. The remotes have been left out. Help clean up by taking them to the top of the TV cabinet. Mm -hmm. Oh, so right here, okay. I can stop and get these remotes. All right, let's stop. Ooh, it doesn't stop right away, does it? No. Uh, That's a lot of remotes. Oh, you still got the logs or did it dumped off the logs? No, no. Oh. What you saw is the bottom of the flatbed. Yeah, it's just wood. Oh, it's just like a wooden logs. flatbed. Yeah. Okay. What about the other remote? Let's do the, the one again. Yeah, yeah that's blow right. that horn. So I kind of like this, though. You can pinch, you know, 
go all around. <laughs> this is pretty Zoom sweet. Zoom right in. Go we'll go up onto the onto the chair. This ain't no first person shooter, but it's pretty sweet. It is kinda cool. Especially with the little challenges. And it's a little realistic too, you know, coming up. Yeah, the games, I th yeah, I think that it's definitely geared more towards little kids. You know, there's no mistake about it, but the game is super realistic. Yeah. You know, it's it's very impressive for the level of graphics that is on a phone. Mm -hmm. And I'm mirroring out to a high-def television, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so does this work just on... What phones does this work on? Uh, it has to be a Tiger 2 device. So this actually works on uh, all those honeycomb tablets that are out right now. Motorola like Zoom, Zoom, that uh, LG uh, G Slate on T-Mobile. Holy crap, here we go down the hill! Blow the horn again. Blow that horn. Wow, we're flying now. Yeah. I wonder if we can flip off the track. It won't. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I totally tried. <laughs> Need a speed boost. A dang, you're more going. on the uh, fire. See the sound change too when I zoomed out, wow. or rather hear hear the sound change. So the drinks here, find some drink coasters and bring them here, dude. The yeah. drink coasters were totally at the other thing. You still gotta drop off your remotes anyway. You don't boss me around. <laughs> <laughs> I take the remotes where I want to. Maybe you had to load the drink coasters into a different area of the train. The TV, I think, anyways. No? Yeah, the next the next stop will be for the these remotes. Dude, can you can you climb that high? It's gonna be kind of a steep climb, isn't it? Oh dang! Wow, slowed this. right down. Really? Oh no way! I'm still chugging along. I think or I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Juice. Should be, I think I can. It should be, I know I can. There we go. Totally. Does the horn help it move? Uh, the horn helps me. <laughs> 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 All right, so I'll come up here and stop and drop off these uh, remotes. There we go. All right. So that's that's pretty much the gist of that app. So I'll hit menu and exit driver. You can change trains if you want to. But I'm going to end the session. Uh, the other thing that you can do on here is build tracks. And I'm not even really going to show you how to do that because, my God, is it complicated to do. Like, it's certainly not meant for any kids to be messing with. Totally. So uh, but while it's loading here, I'll pretty much tell you I tried to mess around with... You, you, they have all these different rotation things that you have to grab and move and tracks and all this other stuff. And I'll pull up the screen here and I can show you. They give you tips right here to begin with, um, but they're not really that helpful. You know what I mean? Well, it tells you how to use the stuff, how to use the different things. But I'm gonna, I click close here on the tips. It didn't register. There it goes. Totally. So over on the left, you got this up and down arrow you gotta hold down and then you can touch the screen with your other hand Ooh, you're flying around there, man. and then there's the rotation one you hold that down with your thumb and you can then touch the screen with the other hand and rotate cool and then you just the, you get these different things you grab tracks you're pretty much gonna have to mess around with it because I tried to uh, you know edit out a part of the track and build other parts and mm -hmm. like if I delete this part of the track here and then try and build other track like that. I don't know. I wanted to build something cool that would come around to... Like a loop? Yeah. So, like, if you're trying to do basic stuff, it's you're probably all right. But, see, whenever oh. you do complicated, yeah. it's... Yeah. Well. So, and imagine trying to do that and build a whole whole room. So, if you get the hang of it, it's probably all right. And, really, it's probably better suited for a tablet screen to build the tracks. Uh, I would like to see some sharing. You know, like, if you have a bigger screen, oh. you could share uh, the tracks you build down to other ones or just to your friends. Well, that'd be cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen anything like that. So, um, But for just the sheer value of playing with trains <laughs> and, you know what I mean, and blowing the whistle, it's pretty cool. So, And your kids will love it, too. Blowing the whistle. Oh. That's right. <laughs> that is the euphemism of the day. Blowing the whistle. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, for what five dollars and how many cents? Five thirty-four on the Android market for Tegra two devices only. It's Which at this point means the LG GX two on the, or the G two X on T Mobile or the uh, Droid X two on uh, Verizon. I'm pretty sure that's the only. Oh no, on Sprint they have the Atrix. That's a Tegra device. So what about the uh, one on AT and T? That's I said Sprint. I meant AT and T. Sprint has no Tegra devices at the moment. Mm-hmm. Sorry, kind of disappointed about that myself. But whatever. Cool. Um, so kind of derailing from this uh, fun, <laughs> enjoyable. Uh, you trade me for hotness. my Evo. I'm gonna switch out phones here. Yes. From the gadget <laughs> list. This is the gadget playlist we got going on up there. <laughs> it's huge. Mm-hmm. It's huge. It is. Uh, we've got another after review. <laughs> All right. Let's Lynn's look at the Lens screen. Screen mirroring on You're there. Doing that one. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right. So this app that Lane's going to review is probably not the same audience. Well, no. it might be, but it, it's not the same kind of feeling. It is not kid friendly. Let's go with that. Right. You don't want to <laughs> hand your tablet to your kid with this on there. No. Really. And really, this is only for certain devices. I don't think it's available for any tablets. Oh man. At the moment. I can't believe my Touch 4G ain't on there, and I got mine overclocked. Ah, uh, dude, I totally don't have it on here. My what? phone was wiped this morning. You wiped it? Uh, yeah, I wiped it off. So there's no way I can review it. So teaser for next week. Oh Sorry. boy, that's the only app I'm we reviewing never this even week. Told them what it was, anyways. There was a lot of nope. blood and gore. Yeah, there is a lot of blood and gore, and I totally love this app. Explosions. So you got to watch next week's show to mm-hmm. see it. Okay, hint though, sandstorm. It's not. It's not. It's sandstorm. not sandstorm. It's not it. But it's better. <laughs> that is a hint, though. That's a good hint. Total hint. All right. Sorry. So next week. <laughs> um, but we do have another sponsor for this week. Go to meeting is our second sponsor of the episode this week. We are glad that they are still sponsors of the show and they still like us. They really like us because you can do things with go to meeting that you thought you couldn't do before. Isn't that right, Lane? That's right. And you can do it anywhere. Anywhere that you have a good internet connection and a laptop, boom, you can be instantly sharing a screen uh, and holding a meeting with anybody in your office. See, my favorite setup is the conference room where a bunch of people are sharing uh, one overhead projector and you can do a lot of interaction with people Mm -hmm. and bring in people from outside. So you kind of have this hybrid meeting using GoToMeeting where you have people outside and you still have that same... Uh, conference room meeting kind of feel mm-hmm. you know yeah, totally like it, it just is a better way to do meetings on uh, just to do meetings like it brings another aspect that you couldn't have had before um and it's cost efficient and you, it's just an awesome way to connect with people to do business nowadays you can't just i mean face-to-face meetings are cool and everything but everybody wants to be in on the meeting so you're like okay Bob in Tucson, get him in here. Come on in, Bob. And then you're like, <laughs> totally right there. And it's cool because you can do so much more with so much little. For far cheaper so than the cost of a plane ticket. You can bring anybody from any office in. Totally. And right now, you can get GoToMeeting 30 days for free if you go to GoToMeeting.com, click on Try It Now, and use the promo code PODCAST when you sign up. And uh, it will work like a charm you can always do thir- you can always do join meetings for free but this is you can actually host your own meeting so like if your boss is like bob in tucson just can't make it this week you can be like yes he can he can be virtual with go to meeting once again go to meeting.com <laughs> click on try it now and use the promo code podcast for 30 days for free it's good stuff and we like to thank the people over go to meeting for being sponsors of the show Yes. Our next app, and we're going to Brad. Well, our next app just came out on the Amazon App Store for Dude. free today. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's one of... um, Epic. No, no I was thinking of the... Uh, the um, It's like the ma- the people that made Chuzzle. Well, PopCap. Yeah. Yes. There we go. PopCap. Yes, is a direct a Pop port Cap? over from iOS. It yeah. is PopCap, yes. Yeah, remember when we covered Chuzzle uh, the other week? Oh, I was talking about that. Oh. 
Oh, we covered that PopCap was releasing a couple apps exclusively oh, on the Amazon yeah. App Store. Yeah. This is one of the ones. What that... is it, Brad? Well, this is Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, yes. For free. Today only. Today only. Sorry, everybody. Or whoa, you can be paying two ninety nine any other day. Mm. We retweeted so, it, so if you watch our Twitter account, you saw. Totally. So hurry up and get the Amazon App Store and go get it while you still can. You still got it till 3 a.m. Eastern This time. won't be published until tomorrow. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I said that. If you could, if if you are hiding in our studio, then yeah. <laughs> then it's kind of creepy anyway. I forgot. Stalker. So, anyways, let's go to the um, gadget cam. Oh yes, that's how you're doing this one. Yeah, because I'm not gonna do the. Uh, you're old school. Yeah, because uh, I'm a lot further ahead than he is because he just got it. Yeah. Well, I have it on iOS, so I've played it quite a bit. It's all good. Just keep playing. Keep okay. playing with it. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey. All right. So when you first start playing this game, it's going to ask you to put in your name here. And then uh, we we'll just go back to where I was. On your gravestone? You what, put your name zombie. on a gravestone? Oh, well, yeah. Zombies. That's Crazy Bob. Hey, Bob. He's crazy. 216 <laughs> coins so far. Generally, you, people that wear cookware on their head. I'll sell you something cl- really neato. Bob's going to sell me something. You picking that up at all? All right. So now I've got a bunch of plants, so i got to pick some plants that I want to use. So I usually always go with a walnut or the whatever the heck that is. I like the exploding cherries. Got to have the sunflowers and the spore shrooms. And um, or maybe I'll try the... Uh, maybe I'll... You know what? I'll get rid of the, the sunflowers and I'll go with the, the other shrooms that give you uh, sunshine. You only have six slots until you can you uh, play long enough that, and you can upgrade to seven or eight, I think. I guess that's going to have to do. Okay, so let's see. I got nothing there, so I'm going to put that out. Put that out. I'm going to just put some spore shrooms, and I put one of the little um, um other shrooms out. And they give me a little bit of sunshine. Yeah, you have to collect sunshine. It's like... Oh, uh, crap. I didn't go with the sunflowers. The sunshine's like gold that you have to use to buy the plants to kill the zombies. So this is kind of a tower defense strategy kind of game? Yeah, pretty much what it is. What he said. So I'm planting uh, the shroom so I can get some uh, so I can get some um, sunshine so I can grow my plants. Yeah, I like that smacking sound. <laughs> <laughs> like when the stuff hits the zombie, you know it's not hitting. You know it's hitting rotting flesh. Is that creepy? It sounds very creepy to say. I think, isn't it? Okay. The dial back. <laughs> I think oh. get that sound on the bottom. What are you doing? I think if we're reviewing a game that has zombies in it, though, that it's probably okay to be a little creepy. Yep. Oop, got a got a rock get that or a walnut. Get that I get it. I got it. I got it. You don't want to go to waste. <laughs> the zombies, I get you. Now he's trying to get through my walnut or whatever the heck it is. Yeah, he's eating the walnut brains. <laughs> what you laughing about over there? I need another brains guy. Of the walnut would be the, the nut meat. <laughs> That's what it's called. Nice. It's true. He's a vegetarian. He knows the terms. It's nut meat. I just dug up one of my plants and put in a different one. I got sun coming out my everywhere. So does this game go on for long? Um, it goes on. It can. Yeah, it I'm can. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Yeah, these are one of those games that like. Ooh, I got some regular sun there. It's really a strategy. I mean, like you have to plan this out, set it up. Well, and later on too, they yeah. they change it up by putting a pool in the middle, 
so that the zombies you'll have swimming zombies that swim up the middle. And you got pole vaulting zombies and yeah, all kinds of yeah. They pole vault right over your rocks. Crazy, goofy stuff. And then there's uh, another few levels where you have to play on the roof, and the roof is slanted, so you can't put the shooting zombie. You can't put the shooting plants clear in the back because they will just shoot into the roof. They Ooh. won't kill the zombies that are clear crap, out at the beginning. Crap, crap. Oh man. So yeah, there's just strategy layered on top of strategy. Ooh, got in him. This game. Need a rock. Beautiful, Dave. Yep. So yeah, the blue ones slow down zombies and damage them. There's little green ones that that uh, just shoot regular peas and. Then I got my I'll show you an exploding cherry. Hmm. Boom! Takes out a Take bunch it. of them. Oh yeah, and that comes in handy. Believe. Yes, it does. <laughs> and it's just, yeah. Oop! I need another rock. Well, what's that thing? Is that another zombie? He's got a traffic cone on his head for protection. Oh my gosh! Seriously. I usually like leaving a row there for those pole vaulting zombies because then I can just drop in another rock if I got one handy. Yep. Smart huh. move. And then I just dig up the ones in the back. Hmm. Like that. And then throw one of those in there. And dig up another one. Because they're free anyway, so it's not like you're losing anything. Yeah. Huh. So you've got a strategy here. Yeah, I like I put the uh, the free ones out there on the far right. Because it slows them down. They only shoot straight ahead. That's what I don't like. They don't shoot all around. Yeah. Well, there's some later that spray they where spray. it'll shoot one forward and that shoots uh, one in each direction diagonally forward so that you get good coverage. And then there's another one that shoots three lanes. So it'll shoot on three of them going forward. So. Oh, man, this is speeding up. Yeah, there's all kinds of uh, uh, cool upgrades later on. And you can upgrade uh, individual plants, too. Or wait, no. What's wrong with that guy? He's got the tin can on his head. He's got armor. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wearing a busket. (laughs) A busket. (laughs) What? I don't remember what movie that was from, but... Had the guy that... uh, From... uh, Gosh. Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary was in it. Remember they're having that conversation about fish boots. The guy had stingray shoes, and the other guy's like, "Those are fish boots." <laughs> it's like they're not fish boots; they're stingray. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Remember that guy says something about a busket. That homeless guy, <laughs> Dan Sleary, starts tearing into him <laughs> about a busket. Mm-hmm. It's a good movie. So Brad, it looks like you're getting into this pretty good here. This movie's got Christopher Walken in it. Dang, it's killing me. I can't. Kingpin is it? King- hey, it's no, it's game. not Kingpin. Yeah, I'm almost to the end of the. Uh, I already went through the first big wave. I'm coming up on my well, almost halfway to the the, the final wave. This is insane. I mean, if you guys want to continue on, if you've seen enough, Suicide then, uh, Kings. That's what it is. I knew it had King in the word. I'll just continue this level because I'm not going to quit. Not yeah, a quitter. I'm do that. Or you can finish watching it. Now either uh, win or I'll die here. I think we know what we're gonna do. I can turn down the volume the if you like. Pressure's on. <laughs> no, no, we're good. You done doing it? Yep. All right. But you can keep going. I am gonna keep going. Oh, good. <laughs> good. That's what we wanted. You do you. Yep. Because you so, can go ahead and do the news. <laughs> Never mind. So that um, that is Plants vs Zombies. Yes, that is Plants vs Zombies. Two ninety nine. Um. Well, yeah, I did pay for it. When you see this, it it'll be two ninety nine. Yeah. yeah. Did you get it for free? Yeah, of course I did. I got it for nice. free as well. <laughs> and I haven't gotten it. But I paid. I did pay the developer for iOS, so I feel like you I should did? be getting it for free. Oh, because you Android. bought it. Yeah. Yeah. But wonder whatever. What, wonder what it's like in the for the iPad. Wonder what the price is. Mm, I don't Probably know. ridiculous. That's a good point. I'm I'm curious to see if there's anything different on the new one. I'm going to play it through like I did the other one and. So you already know. beat the other one? Oh, totally. Hmm. Yeah, that was a couple months ago. Plants vs. Zombies HD for the iPad, six ninety nine. Ah, does it show you the iPhone one? How much it is on there? I think it was two ninety nine. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you on mine because on the iPhone. 
Transverse huh. Zombies, That's interesting. iPhone. Interesting. I don't see it doesn't have it listed here. All right, I'm bringing it up right here. I'll tell you how much it is. 2.99. So, you're not getting ripped off at least. That's right. Same price. So, well, what do you think? We uh, the game is popular enough to have uh, tutorials and walkthrough apps. Yeah. Oh, we totally. Have, if you search for Plants vs Zombies on the Android market, which is yeah. not where it is right now, it's only on the Amazon App Store. Only there. On the Android market, it comes up with hints and guides and stuff. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you know you've arrived when people are banking money off of hints and guides for your games. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Um, but how about we move on to cover a little bit of Android news? Yeah! News you can use and we will abuse. Mm-hmm. Um, the first, <laughs> some more action going on there still. <laughs> uh, the first bit of news we got is BlueStacks. Uh, all one word, go to bluestacks.com uh, and you can sign up for an alpha trial of this app that they're going to be releasing in, they said, summer of 2011. That is going to allow you to run Android apps and even run the market, they're saying, on your Windows computer. So you should be able to go right into the Android market, did you download just win, and install Did you just apps. F- finish the level, Brad? Yeah, just finish the level. There it is. Usually at the end of the level, you get a little something. Ooh, like I just got this uh, huge fumes the that fume. can pass through screen doors. Mm-hmm. Screen doors? Yep, yep. Zombies start carrying screen doors. Oh, oh this will be interesting. They're even more. They're even better than the bucket on the head, but this shoots right through them. As the uh, oh, I see. There's one up there at the top of the screen door. Yep. Yep. He's right there. You That's the other cool door. thing. You see what zombie types are going to be coming, so you can plan for what. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so are those all the zombies that are going to be in the wave or the yeah. first wave? The first wave. Okay. And that's good. So I got some cone heads and some screen doors. Good times. All right, so I know I'm going to need one of those. All right. And it's still nighttime, so I need the ones that make the sunshine. So we're going to go back to our news now. That's yeah, right. So that. if you go to bluestacks.com, you can sign up for this alpha. Uh, and this summer they're going to be releasing this app that will allow you to run Android apps on your Windows computer. Pretty awesome, I think. Very so, cool. I don't know. It's uh, They're using some virtualization, and Citrix is involved in it. Really? So, yeah, it's uh, totally legitimate stuff. So, definitely check that out. It's pretty exciting. And as soon as we get some real news or some real stuff that we can review for you, uh, then I'll talk about it a little bit more. But right now, it's something you might want to check out and be ready for when it comes out. So, you heard it here. Uh, the next thing is some pretty big news this week that I'm sure we're going to be covering on the iPad show until Dave stomps it on the ground. Some more malicious apps were removed from the Android market. <laughs> 26 in total. Uh, they're being called Droid Dream Light uh, is the infection that they had on them or whatever. Uh, this is affecting uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 30,000 to 120,000 apps. So don't know exactly uh, how much um, because we're kind of relying on the uh, market reported totals for downloads. You know what I mean? Because it has that range always. So, uh, apparently this is being triggered when you receive an incoming call, and it does not require user interaction uh, once, you know, the thing has been hooked up and installed. So, some pretty uh, nasty stuff. Uh, And they said it also contains code that can be triggered when you receive texts. That's nasty. So, they can pull all kinds of personal information about you off your phone and send it back up to their server and sell it to somebody is pretty much what it is. So, um, Android users consume the most data, Dave. Do you believe that? I do believe that. I do believe it. I don't know. We just talked about that. Like, Brad is saying, you know, he he's a high data user, but I, can't, I don't know. I have somewhat harder time believing that iOS users aren't consuming more data. I mean, otherwise, why um, would AT&T be whining and squealing all the time? Well, that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. But, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because there's a lot of really good me- like media apps for the iPhone, like Pandora and um, lots of podcasting ones like Stitcher. And, yeah, but there isn't, I don't know. You know, you want to know what Netflix costs you if you have it on your phone? 400 megabytes a, mo- megabytes a movie. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of yikes. But Average. oh well, that that's the other thing too, tethering. See, yeah. And the Android tethering. tethering is a lot more prevalent, I think. So maybe that's some of that extra uh, boost. Um, but it says 582 megabytes per month versus 492 for iOS users. Oh. So okay. almost 100 megabytes more on average. And this is based on a 65,000 uh, American cell phone user population study. So it's a pretty big pool of users to make a judgment from. So sounds like it could be accurate. Uh, let's see. This, uh, the last, well, second to last, or I got a, a surprise addition to put it in oh. uh, Google is taking down console emulators from the Android market. And I know <laughs> Brad and I are pretty pissed off about this. Yeah, it sucks because like, I bought them all way back in the day. Like one of the apps I that I was going to review today, sorry folks, and I didn't uh, review it because I wiped my phone this morning uh, because I was having all kinds of trouble. And really, that's what you do when you run into trouble like that. Um, but what's really making me mad is I had this stuff installed before and Google's pulled it from the market so it's not even like I can go back in and reinstall it or anything. It's gone. And we paid what? They're like $3 apps, right? Yeah, they weren't cheap. I mean, we've reviewed them on the show here before. So, kind of a kind of a big screwing disappointment. Indeed. I would say. But oh, I don't know. Somebody must have filed something. Like my my uh, kind of theory behind it. I don't know if you want my theory. I think Nintendo is behind this. That's a good assumption. Because they've been complaining about how Android and iOS are driving down the price of games. And all these emulators and stuff, it's just another thorn in their side. Because they're selling all these games on that Wii Marketplace or whatever, the Wii Store. So you can go on and download pretty much every popular old game is on there. So... I bet you they had something to do with it. But whatever. I don't know. I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, the last thing, though, I wanted to kind of touch on here is the AT&T and T-Mobile merger. Yeah. So good times. Mm. Uh, Sprint filed a brief today slamming them. Oh. I mean, like, in the strongest terms that you've ever heard from a legal department. Yeah, you know, just uh, completely so ripping AT and T a new one, saying, calling them liars. Oh. You know, right in the thing, saying that they're falsehoods, untruths, whatever. In this uh, uh, court briefing that they filed, so they're saying that anybody, the FCC, anybody that can get in the way of this merger should get in the way of the merger. And a lot of the things I wanted to bring this up because we just touched on this whole thing with AT and T and their slow network. Uh, Sprint is saying that the whole thing about uh, AT&T needing to acquire Spectrum is a complete fallacy. Like, of any wireless provider in America, AT&T has the largest Spectrum, and they have the largest unused Spectrum. Really? AT&T is reserving it for future uses or whatever. They won't use it for current services. Oh. Uh... So, they're kind of creating this false scarcity. Any uh, students of economics might recognize that term. Yes. And, you know, kind of creating the situation where we need to buy T-Mobile and we need to kind of be exempted from this whole monopoly fear and everything um, because we pretty much need it to continue. Well, it's a complete lie. As I kind of covered before, if you followed me on Twitter or anything, you know this. AT&T's main problem is backhaul. It's the fiber. It's the Internet connection that comes to the cell phone tower. And AT&T has not invested in their backhaul. And so even if the cell phone tower gets excellent signal, everything's coming, you know, as it should be right to the site, it isn't going to go anywhere once it hits that tower and then it goes into that very small internet pipe. <sighs> so you might think to yourself, uh, G-Lane, why would they buy T-Mobile? Why would Aren't they... they one of the smallest carriers? They have big pipes, though, don't they? They have freaking huge pipes. The hugest, I would go out on a limb and say, in the industry. Because they just did that upgrade last year, even here in Jackson, yeah. where they just get, you get tremendous speeds on 3G. I mean, they have that 3.5G or whatever, their, their 4G network. And the, the speeds are just amazing. And that's all, 18, that's all T-Mobile has been talking about mm-hmm. uh, with these 4G upgrades is that they've been building the backhaul 
even before they they talked about uh, the releasing for 4G in areas or whatever, they were really touting the backhaul is what we're focusing on now, and then we're gonna push this stuff out. And really, that's where AT and T is failing. Mm-hmm. So uh, Sprint is definitely on the side of do not let them merge. Two companies will control over eighty percent of the market. Oh. That is a duopoly, and that is not healthy for competition. Didn't they do this before? Duopoly. AT and T. You mean you're talking about like Ma Bell? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. And Verizon and AT and T were both part of Ma Bell that was broken up, <laughs> for real. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and now they've grown to this duopoly. It's just ridiculous. Next thing you know, in another five or ten years, they're going to be like, well, in this 5G service or whatever, we really need to merge because mm-hmm. it takes all of our spectrum. Yeah. It's just going to be, well, and the, but they might come up with a more creative reason. It's complete and utter it'll, it'll be tied to your government ID. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> You're a joker. So, yeah, uh, and I I don't know, I speak for myself. I, this needs to not go through. So mm-hmm. if anybody asks you, look at the facts yourself. You know what I mean? AT&T invests in their network the least per customer for any of the national carriers. Mm. You know, and after this merger, T-Mobile customers are going to be screwed. They say that jobs are going to be created, but think yeah. to yourself, what merger has ever happened in the history of this country that has created jobs. The only reason corporations exist, number one, and I don't hate this, I'm just saying, the only reason they exist is to create money for shareholders. Mm-hmm. You know, So if the company wants to buy or merge or whatever you want to call it with another company, are they doing it to cost themselves more money? No, they're doing it to save money. Uh-huh. And the savings aren't just going to be and we're going to get more customers this or that. It's going to yeah. be cutting out all these jobs in the middle that are redundancies as they like to say uh, over in Britain. Mm-hmm. so That was a pretty good rant, Lane. <laughs> yes, sorry. I am very hot and upset, so that's mm-hmm. that's what happens. My iPhone personally is looking forward to it. <laughs> yes, screw your iPhone. Yep. <laughs> well, who knows, though? When, you know, iPhone 5 title. comes out, that's you a- might be able to uh, come over to Sprint. The rumors mm-hmm. are it's going to Sprint pretty soon. Mm. So good times to be had there. And the title of the show, When Pigs Fly. What, that it's coming to Sprint? <laughs> I don't know. No, the, you didn't see the thing where they had the job posting and that Apple has the a job, job posting. posting. <laughs> yeah, Apple has a For job posting dude. in the town as a <laughs> as a carrier liaison where the Sprint headquarters are. For one dude. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm sure there's like a team or whatever, but that's how it starts. Yeah, and then it's going to be like five years until they get it integrated. Whatever. It's basically the same thing as Verizon's. There's just a frequency change. So they'll have the super chip that'll support a couple of frequencies. Uh, Bing, bang, boom, you're done. You just need that super chip. Bob's your uncle and you're on Sprint. Bob, (laughs) really? Yes. Nice. You didn't know Bob's your uncle? Okay. So one last thing I want to cover here before we close out the end of the show. If we can pull up the HDMI camera for my phone. I don't know if you're on the iPad (laughs) still. I think this will do it. <laughs> what is this doing? Holy crap. What wow. is going on? Oh, okay. I got some weird adjustments going on here or something. Uh, is that your phone or is that? That's Hold on. I'll stop it and I'll start it again. Start the floor. Believe me, folks, this will be worth it. Okay. Here we go. Let's, Let's try it this. again. There yeah. we are. Ooh, very nice. All right, so we're going to switch into the Android market here. If you open up your Android market right now and search for the name you saw at the beginning of the show, Coefficient Media. Type, 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 type. You'll see, boom, the app show and the tech show. Nice. Now in the Android market. That's right, folks. The app is free to install. And you see I don't have it installed because, That's not your phone. again, I wipe my phone. That's not my phone. I, because I wiped it. Oh. Didn't have it anymore. They're pretty small apps because uh, the only thing that they, uh, mm-hmm. you know, the only thing that they need is the internet. Is the internet. So you have the Android app show Ooh, here. That's nice. We're recording 65. We got 64 up on here. You can watch everything, uh, including streaming the video, streaming the audio, which uh, the video has a little bit lower quality audio, but of course it's video. Yeah. And if you're in your car, stream the audio. Totally. Or you can also read the show notes, maybe on the nice. train, not in the car. 
So good times there. Uh, we also have some uh, video extras that we record of us uh, eating <laughs> gratuitously. Yeah. So <laughs> um, we can also pull up the Android Tech Show. Pretty much the same thing, but we have all these uh, different hardware reviews. Uh, uh-huh. Next time you open it up, though, you're probably going to see the hardware review that we're going to be recording tonight, which is the Droid X2. Oh, yeah. So all kinds of things to enjoy on there. Of course, again, search the Android market for coefficient media. Mm-hmm. And you'll see all of our handy apps up on there and more to come. A lot more. So look forward to that. And Lane has been working his magic with those apps. <sighs> Sweating. Mm. Yeah, mm. it's true. <laughs> Doing a good job. Oh, let's check in one more time. One more time. Let me check in. <laughs> let's try to do it. There we go. He's Dang. Whoa, dude. We'll dig some graves. Digging graves? Yeah. What did that yeah, do? Yeah, they fall in. <laughs> Screen oh, door. No. Screen door. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I got it covered. What do you think that whole row is right there? I don't know. What is it? Nothing for sc- nothing but stuff for screen doors. Yeah, the screen ones that are blowing colors. bubbles. See them? Yeah, I see them. Spore blowers. Hmm. Seems dangerous That sounds like me. a racist term. Crip, here Spore comes blower? A- yeah, no. Like <laughs> Whoa, pole what vaulter. is going Oh, my. That's why I threw another rock in there so we get stuck between them. Oh. Because you know how grandparents, they always have those. Yes. Those things you're like, is that racist? <laughs> Should you really like, be saying that in this day? <laughs> I know. That's why, like, when you're a kid and you repeat something your grandparents say, and oh, you, you totally don't know dangerous. what it is or what it means, and you're in a grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> is that racist? I don't know. <laughs> mm. That's right. Uh, uh, never say anything your grandparents say. That's right, kids. If there's anything you should learn, it's go to the dot com and you can check out all kinds of cool videos and links out to our social network sites. And I gotta put some links up there to download our apps. So the Android App Show dot com. Yes, and you can go to YouTube dot com slash the Android App Show to watch all of those videos. Also, if you prefer the YouTube viewing experience. We think our website and our apps are pretty good, but people like the YouTube, so you can go on there. You can even comment. You can even subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's so. right. And full-length episodes. We don't have that 15-minute cap. Um, but no. what we do are, well, yeah, what we do are, what we are capped on is Twitter. Yep. Cap 140 characters still. I don't know. They don't have caps. So you can take off for that. But you can follow us at twitter.com slash Android App Show or just at Android App Show. It's true. Message us. Yep. So we like to be mentioned. It's true. The AndroidAppShow.com is the best website uh, that you can go to right now. And um, if you if you enjoy this stuff, uh, make sure you're checking out the AndroidTechShow.com as well. Yeah, it's a good one. So we got all kinds of great stuff. And we are proud members of the Blueberry Podcast Network, where you can find more shows like this one by guys like us for people like you. That is my terminology that I'm going to be using. I'm coining it myself. Uh, they're they're good guys, and it's all a homegrown network. It's like, it's like if 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 primetime TV is like the major leagues, this is like the minor leagues. Yeah, it is like the minors. Yeah, it's not amateur. No, it's not professional. Though it is kind of, it's like pro am. Right. Right. Oh, I got something else before we go. There's mini yeah. games. In there, there's like there's one that's bowling. <laughs> yeah, Crazy Bob's a lot about whack a zombie. Yeah. But instead of, instead of squirrel bows, it's zombies. Instead huh. of a shovel, it's a mallet. And instead of me, it's you. So I guess I got to whack some zombies here. Yeah, they just come out like crazy. Yeah. Huh. You let one get at the end, then the mower will run them over. But that's your only fail safe. The mower? Yeah. The great thing about the mower is though it goes the full length of the board yeah. and kills a bunch of zombies. Huh. That is handy. Because <laughs> if it was just one zombie, I'd be pretty upset. All right. So, yeah, as you see, mini games. Wow. Well, that's right, folks, good stuff. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back next week with some more apps to review. See you guys later. Download our app. That's how the show ends.